so in tools menu we also have global change option so what is this global change option we can able to see now in primavera so click that and after you can able to create a new global change i am just going to click new and we can able to just go for naming it for example calendar and i am just going for if if you have some inputs here then we can able to change something for example if i am having a like a calendar so you type c and you will be available with calendar and you can able to go for is value so here in is value we can able to go for equal or is not equal to or is under so i'm just going for equal and i'm just going for value so once you click the value you can able to select a particular calendar so i'm just selecting this and then you can go for select and if you have any high value you can able to put here but for calendar only one value is enough and then you click on the then button so so in this work area you click the cursor and you can go for add so after adding we can just go for parameter as usual calendar and i'm just going to put the parameter as 6 days calendar i am just going to select it so if any activity contains 5 cross 10 calendar then we can able to change that to 6 days calendar so now i am just going for change so once you put change so primavera p6 uh, like uh, showing us some kind of window this is like global change report and there we have activity id and the field calendar and the old value and also the new value if it is having multiple activity all those activity will be listed here and we can able to go for save to file or we can go for save changes which means commit changes and otherwise if you don't like you can go for cancel changes i am putting cancel changes and are you sure you wish to exit without committing your changes yes so i'm just clicking okay so here we have created one global change for calendar so this is like we have created na so i'm just putting user see here in this activity i am just going for general and we can able to see the activity calendar as 5 cross 10 and after if you are just going for tools global change and you click the calendar and you can go for apply change and after click apply change we can able to go for commit changes and would you like to save the log file uh, if you want to save the log file you can go for yes otherwise you can go for no that is like a file in a Uh, this file actually this is like in a notepad we can go for yes and we can able to save in our document like it is like a notepad file so i am just going for general and we can able to see here the activity calendar changed to 6 days calendar so now the schedule person is complete and activity person is complete and everything now changed okay and we also have some other option for example if you want to modify you can just go for modify and if again i just want to like a uh, uh, put the same i can just go for put the same and i'm just going for change and it is like uh, doesn't have any old value so now we need to put the here 6 days calendar and the here 5 cross 10 calendar now i'm just going for change now we can go for commit changes and it will go back to the previous calendar 5 cross 10 so here we can able to see 5 cross 10 so this is what we have in a global change so we can able to go for apply change we can go for new or we can able to delete we can modify we can copy import and export so for example if you are copying it and we can able to paste it also so you will be getting two and if you don't want you can just delete it okay you can just go for export also 
so it is in a dot pcf format and you can able to save and you can able to import in another project in our primera basics these options we can able to do in global change tool in primera basics